So a couple of weeks ago, ChatGPT released their new image generation model, uh, GPT Image 1, which is even better than Dolly 2 and 3. And it's also a little more expensive, but um, it does really high quality image generation. And it also will put text in your images that you request, and it won't look all garbled and weird. Um, with misspellings, it does a pretty good job. So for a while now, you've been able to go into your chat GPT interface and hit create image, enter a prompt, and it will spit out the image for you. So I've done that with uh, you know creating steps one, two, three, four. I specified a color that I wanted it to use, and it's done that for me down here uh, in, a, in a pretty good job. Um, but you had to use this chat interface and there wasn't any way to connect an API, uh, but now you can. And so what I've done is I've connected the API up to a WS form in my WordPress website. And I just made this uh, little demo page here with some of the instructions, a link to the docs, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but if you scroll down here, you can actually generate an image and it will email the finalized image directly to you. So I'm going to just uh, go through this and then we'll go through the N8N flow that I use to create this. So I'm just going to paste in a prompt here. I want something in like Blade Runner style with a coffee shop that serves space donuts. All right. With some, some guy and an alien. So uh, let's just go ahead and enter this and I'm going to go ahead and enter a you know demo email here I have. And if I submit this, it's going to go and hit the API endpoint for the OpenAI image generation. And then it's going to do a bunch of stuff in between. And at the end, I get an email with the image. Okay, so we're just going to pause it really quick while that image generates, and we'll take a look at the image. So I'll just go ahead and delete these other ones so I don't get confused. So once this uh, image generation is done, it will show up here in my inbox. All right, so it was done in about 15 seconds. So now I can open this image and I can see my image. All right, so we got our coffee with space donuts in a Blade Runner style with that sort of neo noir look. So yeah, it's it's done this and spun it up and emailed me a copy of the image just like that. Um, so the way to get this done is you need to go to OpenAI and you need to create an account if you don't have one and you need to verify your organization and that requires going in and submitting an id verification so you know you give sam altman all your bio indicator uh, identity stuff but after that your organization's verified and you can use their newest models and so the way that it works is you can come to the docs and the docs i know are maybe a little overwhelming there's a lot in there but it's pretty well uh, written and put together. So you can look at the core concepts, but I'm gonna scroll down a bit and go to our specialized models. And here we have image generation. So if I click this, we're gonna see all about the image generation stuff. We're gonna see the different models they offer, how to generate images, all that good stuff. Um, and so what I'm actually gonna be using is the image API here. So I, you can click this, you can click generate image, but if I just click image API, it's gonna take me to the uh, specific docs there. And so what we do, what we need is this request. So the, the beauty of this is you can import a curl. And so if I copy this and if you go to N8N and you go to make a request, you can import this curl here and it'll import all these fields for you. And so that's what I've done. And what I've done is I've replaced the API key with my API key. Okay. And we're, we've specified the model for the GPT image one, and then we're passing in a dynamic prompt from the webhook, right? So the webhook is created with WS form in WordPress, right? So I have a form here called, you know, generate image with open API, and it's going to, after you submit the webhook or the, the web form, it's going to create this webhook and specify all the different uh, things like here, here's the prompt. So it's passing in the prompt data and it's passing in the size and it's passing in the GPT image. Um, I got an error when I imported the curl for the N and this is like the number of images. For some reason it was saying it's a, it's a string when it should have been an integer. I don't know, I just deleted it and it's gonna just generate that one image. But after you do that, um, I have it basically go through. So here it receives the webhook, right? 
And then I just have it go to an AI agent. And I just wanted to create an image title. So it's just like a short title based on the prompt. So I just have like write a short file name for the file generated by the prompt without any kind of file extensions like note.txt, note.json, note.jpg. And then I pass in the prompt here. So there's the prompt in the green. And after that, it just goes through a structured parser and sets the file name to whatever that short file name is. And then the, the real magic here is when it hits this API, this is where it's generating the image. So it's it's doing this call to, to this type of endpoint here uh, in my OpenAI uh, account, and then it's generating that image. After it's generated, the image comes back as a big long binary file. And so there's another step here in the automation flow to convert that from base64 to a binary file. After we do that, then we send it to our Google Drive to upload it. So I just have a Google Drive connected and the file name is what we got from the agent before. And we're just putting it in my AI generation image folder in my Google Drive. After that, we're sharing the file with the person who filled out the form. So it's sending by the ID that we just created in the step before for creating the image or uploading the image. It's uh, taking that ID and sharing it with the person who filled out the form in the webhook. All right. After that, it's going to um, take that shared file and also send an email to the person, right? So it's going to email the person um, from Gmail and it's like, you're, here's your AI image. This is the subject that's passing in the file name. And then the image is a link to the actual, to, to the actual person who's filled out the form again, right? So that is the, that's the flow of what I've done here. It lets you just create, you know, a form on your website. If you, you want to let people generate images, or if you want to install this on your own website, you can, you can also install this on your client's website. You can also let your client charge other people for this type of thing, right? Based on their branding or however you want to do it. But uh, we'll just go through the steps one more time and I'll just do one that requires a little bit of text. So um, I'll just type in one here. So in the pointillism style, create a WordPress logo that is encircled by the top AI model logos, open AI, Anthropic Claude, Google Gemini, uh, with a faint line connecting them and also the name of each provider in text. All right. So we should be able to pass this into the, uh, smarter AI or the uh, smarter, yeah, the smarter, uh, AI model for the image generation. It should be able to take this and return the data. So, um, I'll go ahead and submit it. And then we'll, I'll just open up N8N and we can see the uh, thing triggers there. So we know that it is starting to run the automation and it's gonna you know, probably take about 30 seconds to generate the image and then save the image in our Google Drive and send it via email to the person who filled out the form. So I'll just pause it again. All right, so it successfully has run through all the steps of the automation. So here's our webhook uh, with the form data that we filled out, right, in, in the WS form. There's the pointillism style, and then it's uh, gone through and done the whole flow. And so if we come back to our inbox, I can see our um, email here. And then this is also the, the one that's been shared, I think. So it's actually kind of duplicated, probably didn't need that. Uh, but here I can see the image preview and I can open it up and it's done. It's done Google Gemini twice, so it's not perfect, but uh, that's a pretty good first attempt without any kind of additional prompting, just a simple example really. Uh, but yeah, it's done my pointillism style. It's done my WordPress logo and it's put some AI models around it. And so I can also come back to my, uh, thing here. And so like this one here, it looks like that's the most recent one. So that's that one. Then I've got some other uh, demo ones that I messed up. Um, but yeah, so it, that's basically the flow where it is generating the image from your WordPress website, uh, website form, sending it to an AI agent to rename it, doing an API request to the image model, converting that, sending it to the Google drive to upload it, 
sharing that file and emailing the person. So again, pretty simple flow. I just wanted to really just show how to get used to using APIs a little bit and how to generate an image with the new image generation from ChatGPT or from OpenAI. So uh, that is basically the gist of it. Hopefully this was helpful to learn how to get started on how to use AI models within your WordPress forms. Uh, so that is, that's basically it. I'll um, leave a link to all this stuff that I talked about in the video. And until next time, I'll see you later.